Each of us has a voice. Each of us is inimitable. What I say, no one else can say. No one else has felt what I have felt. No one else knows what it feels to be alive in my body. So that is the gift I have to give. Every person in this world has that one gift, the gift of themselves. And poetry gives you the chance to show who you are by what you think, what you feel, what you believe and what you touch, what you value. It's a portrait of your soul, really. And what could be more valuable? I'm an artist, and I was married to an artist, and he was a sculptor, and I was a writer. So we had a good fit. He liked to be alone, I liked to be alone, and then we liked to be together. He was um, a naval aviator, an officer in the Navy, and was in Vietnam. He was a, a carrier pilot, and he never had to kill anyone, but he came back extremely different from the way he left and it took him a long time. He, he couldn't even see the Vietnam Wall for 11 years. It took him that long. And so he said, in the midst of the fire, he said, if I ever get out of here alive, I am going to buy myself a welding set and make the art I've always dreamed of. And he did. And he invented the lost wood process where he would find wood or carve it, then put nails on it, molten bronze, and it would take a year sometimes to make a piece, but he healed himself through art. And his work looks like him because the nails are all inside. The pain and the sharp nails are inside, but on the outside is this beautiful gleaming bronze, which was the life that he restored in himself. So he's a success story because art heals. And everything I've ever needed to do and feel has been a therapy in writing too. Art really saves lives. When you were in the ninth grade and I was in the seventh, you were a crossing guard keeping order at junior high school number three. No one was disobedient when you wore that wide yellow strap across your chest. No one bruised another, caused trouble, or so much as threw a stone. No one cracked a joke about you, a man in uniform. How did that yellow vest feed your soul to let you know someday you'd fly a plane just to feel the power of a strap across your chest? What liberation to know how to be in charge, strong and capable, flying through gunfire and lightning again and again to come back to me. Although we were young, you were 15 and I was 13. Since then, I've never known the world without you. Now, I must be 12. I just want to say what I feel because I know it's going to connect with something you think. And usually, the other person says, I've always felt that, but I just never had the courage to say it. So. Writing for me is an act of courage, it's risk-taking, it's being new every day, it's noticing the world, it's being fully alive and awake every minute. And that's what poetry is for me.